Okay, let's take uh, some of the vector skills we've been learning and some of the uh, bitmap editing skills. Let's put them together and start talking a little bit about masking. So at its simplest, masking is just the idea, or at least vector masking, um, is the idea of drawing a vector object and then grouping it together with an image, a photograph, and we'll only see the image through the vector. So you could almost think of it as a window. Um, so let me just demonstrate it and then we'll talk about we'll talk more about how to do it. So first I'm just going to import uh, one of my sample images in and if you're in our class uh, watching this video you should have these sample images. So I'll just pick up one here, it doesn't really matter. Okay. And when you do file import um, you get two options. Uh, when my when my cursor comes up, you can see it's across, it's a little right angle. And if I click once, the image comes in full size. Okay, so there's the full size image. In this case, that's going to be too big for us. Um, the other option when I do file import, and let me grab that picture again, um, I can click and drag, and as I click and drag, it resizes the image. So in this case, I just wanted the image to be about that size, so we can play with it a little bit. Okay, so there's my image but I don't want it square, maybe I want rounded corners on it. Okay, so I can't just tell this image to have rounded corners. To get rounded corners I, I need to do a mask. So all that means is I'm going to draw a rectangle that sits on top of this image and I'm going to have, I'm going to have the rectangle um, have the rect rounded corners. And when I group them together the rectangle sort of disappears and it leaves behind its shape but it, and it masks the image. So I only see the image through that rectangle and it'll appear to have rounded corners. So let me go over here and grab uh, the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to, uh, oh, I want this to be a solid color and in this case I want it to be a solid white. So I'm going to drag out this rectangle. Okay, so just a plain rectangle, plain white rectangle. And then once I have it on the canvas, I'm going to round the corners up. Okay, so now I've got the rounded corners. And what I'd like, I'd like to see the picture just through this rectangle. Okay, and when I look over in my layer panel, the rectangle does need to be on top of the bitmap that it's going to um, that it's going to mask. So if for some reason when you drew these, uh, the, rec the rectangle didn't get on top, you can see here I moved and it's behind now. Uh, I can just change the stacking order here in the layer panel just by selecting one. So I've, I've clicked on the bitmap over here just once and then I'm just going to click and hold and pull it down and a thick black line sort of jumps down and that lets me know I'm underneath the rectangle. So I can let go of the mouse and now that rectangle is back on top of the uh, image. So now I just need to get both objects selected. And you can do that a couple of ways. If you have your black selection tool, you can just marquee around them, which means I just have the black selection tool. I start, say, up in the upper left-hand corner outside of both, so I'm not over either one of these. Click and drag, and I basically drag out a big selection box. And when I let go of it, it will select whatever, uh, whatever that selection box went on top of. And I can see they're both selected over here. So I can marquee around them, or I can click on one, so now the rectangle is selected. If I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and move my cursor and click on the other, I can see that both of those have either blue handles or blue outline around them. So that selects both of them. And then there's another way. Um, I can do it over here in my layer panel, and sometimes that's the best way when we get a lot of stuff going out on our canvas. I can click on one. So you can see I clicked on the rectangle there in the layer panel. And so it's selected now. And then if I hold down shift and click on the other one, then they both become selected. So either way, um, get both objects selected, and then I'm going to go to the Modify menu. And if I look down there, there's a section for Mask, and only one thing should be available, the Group As Mask. So if that's grayed out, it just means that both objects probably aren't selected, or you have more than two objects selected. So I'm going to click Group As Mask, and you'll see that rectangle basically disappears and I am now just seeing this image through the rectangle so it appears like this image has a rounded corners but when I roll over it you can see that red line that lets me know that the image the whole image is still underneath there I didn't crop it I didn't delete anything 
that whole image is still underneath there. And if I click on it, that image becomes selected. And if you look at really close, um, and in mine, it's right by this kid's nose, you'll see a little blue four-pointed handle. That That's the handle that I can grab onto, and I can move the image around underneath the mask. So I wasn't too worried about positioning it, uh, the image um, there, but I can move it around underneath. Okay, So uh, I'm going to do that and do another example here. So I'm just going to import another picture. And we'll grab a different one. Um, how about... We'll just grab this one here. Okay, and I don't need the whole thing, so I'm just going to click and drag it in the size that it is. All right, you know what? That is a thumbnail version of that. So I, when I, when I bring in an image, I want to bring in an image that is at least as big as I want my finished product to be. Because if not, it gets stretched and starts looking bad. Okay, so let's see. How about this one? Will be fine. All right, so now I'm going to bring that image in. So I'm click and drag it out, so it looks good. Um, now I want to mask this, and maybe I want to do something different. Like maybe I just want a section of this, and I don't need rounded corners, or I just want um, a uh, my graphic to look like it's an oval. So I so I've picked up the oval tool, and I've have white fill, and if I hold down Shift and I drag out my vector shape, let me try that again. I want a perfect circle, so I hold down Shift. Now I have my oval there, and I don't really need a border here, so I'm going to take off the stroke. So it's just a plain white oval. And now I've got the vector shape on top of my bitmap, so I need to get both of them selected. Okay, so I just held down Shift and clicked on over here in the layer panel to get the second one selected. And then I go to Modify, Mask, and Group as Mask. Okay, so you can see now I'm just seeing the image through the rectangle, I mean through the oval. The oval's basically gone, um, and if I need to, I can click back on the image and grab onto the handle and adjust the image inside of the mask or underneath the mask. Okay, and if I need to move the whole thing, I just click off of it, and I can click and move the whole package, those two objects together. And you can kind of see, if you look in the layer panel, um, you can see I can see the two thumbnails. I can see that um, my bitmap, my picture, is linked to uh, a mask or linked to a vector object, and it kind of shows you a little thumbnail of that as well. Okay, so now I've got that selected. I can move it around in, in, inside of there, and now I have a way to change basically the shape of my images. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do with uh, vector mask masking. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about uh, another masking effect that we want to be uh, that we want to know how to do.